Duckies, and welcome back to the Unnamed series. My name is Viola, and today we're going to continue right where we left off. We are still in search of some cold land. Still! Alrighty, let's take off here and see where we get to. Okay guys, we're going to go over here and we're going to land because I just ran into a very interesting string of bubble jets back over there. And I am very curious. Plus the sun's going down, so this way we can hop off, hop out of the ocean, get some time on land. And have a nice snooze before a fresh day. Look at that sunset. Hmm. Alrighty, there we go. Okay, fresh day, fresh us, fresh everything. Now let's have our sword at the ready. We're going to eat. And we're going to go with our boat. Let's put our wooden axe at the ready because we're going to need to break it really quickly. We're going to come right back out here to where I saw those in that interesting line of bubble jets. Because I think there may be something down there. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. This is not a good, this is not a good, this is very bad. This is a very bad. see for a moment there okay so here's the bubble jets let's actually take those down I can't see a thing Whoa. Okay. So these are the feeling I'm going to drown. Yep. Oh god. Oh. No. Uh-oh. Oh boy. Where did it respawn us? This is all the way back at spawn! This is spawn spawn! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Guys! This... This is... No! This is not good! No! 
This is really, 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 really not good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. Um, uh, um, um. Hi. Yeah, it, it, me. Um. I'll be back. yellow duckies and um welcome back so uh i made myself a wooden sword and i got some sugar cane but as far as what i had i only have my diamond pickaxe my emeralds and some cobblestone everything else is gone Truly, truly gone. So, I mean, this isn't the worst. This could be a whole lot worse. I mean, admittedly, come, 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 come and see. Look, we found some snowy lands over that way. Maybe there will be a village. Um, in the meantime, I shouldn't do that with my sword. I am going to get myself some wood, and I know it, it, it's kind of, kind of a bit useless because, I mean, we don't even have food. We don't have anything. I did actually um, I, I did make an attempt to uh, to actually use my teleportation on my map to teleport back to where I died and just grab my stuff real quick and then I was going to go over to the to an island nearby which one of these islands, you know, and um, and then I was gonna make the best of it. But in doing so, I actually made it worse. Um, there was a drowned with a trident, and he just kept killing me over and over and over again. Um, So yeah, I, I ended up dying a lot and losing a whole lot of stuff. So we're just going to make the most of it. We are going to make the most out of everything. Because we don't have that much anyway right now. So what we're going to do, um, first things first, because we still are in the ocean and it is still ground territory, we're going to make ourselves a boat and a wooden axe, break this crafting table so we can take it with us. Because this adventure is not going to end. This is not going to end. Least of all, not like that. So we're just going to hop right into our boat. And we're going to head over into this snowy area over here. And see what we can see. Because I'm determined. And stuck on my boat. There we go. Right. Got my boat. Got my wooden sword. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna because we're here and there's a bunch of cobblestone. I'm just gonna get a bunch of cobblestone. I mean, we don't have 
coal anymore. Ooh, coal. Grab some of this. Oh, there's more there. Alright. Got six pieces of coal. We can make six torches. We can survive. We got over a stack of cobblestone. We can make ourselves a so stone sword. But firstly, let's just see what we can see up here. I'm still getting more. Should not dig under myself. But we will do what we need to do to survive here. I'm not going back until I really, truly have to go back home to our Pokeball. As in, I have a ton of good stuff and I need to go back home. <laughs> nope, guys, we're not going back until we got the good stuffs. The good good. All right, so up to 36 coal. It's not close to what we were, but look, snow. Hmm. It's a chicken that seems to be following me. If he's not careful, he's going to become lunch. Oh boy. Well, I mean, I see more coal. Just make our way down into this valley here. But I'm half tempted to say that there may not be... A village here, guys. I think we got lucky with that desert village we've spotted and found. But the good news is we're getting more coal. And I think the... Where's the sun? Uh-oh. The sun may be going down on us, guys. This is not good. I do believe the sun is going down on us, guys. And with how we struggled to survive a night, I'm not sure this is going to be a good thing. I half wish I had found a mushroom island because that I can survive on. The uh, sun's going down. Um. Please. There's sheep. Um. There's sheep and I have wood. Fine. Your sacrifice is greatly appreciated, sheep. Sorry, guys. Moment of lag there. What? What? There it is. Okay. Crafting table down. Quickly. Wood. Bed. Sleep. Whew. That was close. Alright. So now we have a new bed. We have a boat. We have over a stack of coal. 
We got a stack of cobblestone. We got raw mutton. We got a snowy biome. Whoa. No. I don't want to go down. I don't want to go down. Fine, I'll go down. Okay, well, there's a lava flow. I'd rather not, please. that's coming from because if I can ooh, lots more coal it's sunny you silly silly zombie oh my gosh no 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 creepy noises give me that back okay Need to go up. I would like to note also. I have absolutely no armor right now. So that's the other reason why I am being so utterly careful and why that zombie nearly killed me. Um, I don't know. Can you eat just plain sugar? I don't suppose I can. No. Darn it. I mean, not like that would be a good idea anyway. Don't do that, kids. Never eat just straight sugar. Although, that also pertains to, like, flavored pixie sticks. Because, honestly, flavored pixie sticks are just straight sugar, guys. And eating straight sugar would definitely kill me. Because I think I mentioned before that I am a type 2 diabetic. Um, and believe me, the way that it was discovered with me was a very painful experience. And you guys do not want that happening to you. Um, I'm not sure if that's really a, a story to share here. But, um, I suppose it would give me something to, to talk about while we're, uh, recovering from our, our lost time on this adventure. Um, so... It actually wasn't super long ago. Um, it was December 2016 or 2015. Um, I ended up in the emergency room. Um, technically, initially, it started in a, um, an urgent care unit. Uh, I went in after all the holidays. This was actually coming up to, like, New Year 2015. And, um, oh boy. I gotta be more careful with where I'm jumping. Or else I'm going to 
die and soon. I'll tell you the other thing that's causing me to have issues. Options, controls, auto jump off. There we go. Stop it. Let's go on back up and see if we can figure this out. Um, but yeah, um, December 2015, after all the holidays had happened and I had seen my family and We'd all visited with each other and everything. Um, I started having really bad stomach cramps. And initially I, I brushed them off because, I mean, oh, no, no, it is going down. Okay. Initially I brushed them off because, um, I, I really wasn't too bothered. It, it was getting in the way of some things. And yeah, it's just really slow. But, um, it wasn't interrupting anything. Then I started having trouble sleeping because of it, but I still, I didn't necessarily really want to go in I mean, you know, it's after the holidays, everything's busy, um, add on top of it that, of course, I, as I said before, I haven't had a job, so I was unemployed, and I didn't have insurance. Um, I didn't want to cost my father, who I'm living with, an arm and a leg, uh, to take care of medical bills. So, I just continued to kind of brush it off and, and, you know, just figure out stuff for myself, try and have some, some ginger rice and, and that sort of stuff. Is there really no villages? This makes absolutely no sense. Um, so, ooh. I use those cows to kill them. Well, I do have some mutton already. Yes, I know. Run, run, run. She's a cow murderer. Deal with it, cow. Um. Eventually, it, it did get to the point where I, I couldn't manage the pain anymore myself. And I couldn't sleep. It was keeping me awake, and, you know, my initial thought of what it could have been was, you know, probably appendicitis, which you do need medical help if it doesn't deal with itself, really. Um, you can get it and get to a point where it is inflamed, but it will still recover sometimes. But this did not turn out to be the case. Um, when I ended up going into the hospital after not getting good sleep for about a week and all these stomach cramps that were slowly building over time and I couldn't walk easily, I couldn't move easily, I was com constantly uncomfortable. I went in and they started running tests and they, they started asking if I had ever been diagnosed as diabetic. Now, it does run in my family. So, there is that, but I personally had never 
been diagnosed as diabetic. So, of course, I told him no, you know. Yeah, there's been diabetes in my family, but I have never personally been diagnosed with it. And this kept happening for a couple of hours. Finally, they said that they were going to admit me because I had pancreatitis, which is basically the inflammation of the pancreas. It's, it's when the organ in your body uh, that normally manages your normal, your sugars and such, um, becomes inflamed and isn't properly processing or properly releasing insulin and, and that sort of stuff to manage your body. So I was like, okay, you know, what else am I going to say? So, you know, I they admitted me and I was in the hospital for a week. Um, it wasn't, it wouldn't necessarily have taken that long. I should have probably been out within a couple of days. But, um, initially my symptoms were similar to an appendicitis. Um, and they were worried that maybe my appendix was also inflamed, I suppose. Um, and they also were worried about my, my oxygen levels. So I had a few things going on, which may have all been linked back to the fact that I was very, very sick. And it really, it was just one big mess. Um, so during that whole time, I was just kind of in the first couple of days, I was not allowed to eat. It was only fluids and the fluids were only by IV. Um, and probably about five days in, they finally came to me and said, you know, we didn't really give you a, di a full diagnosis, um, but we, we think that you are a type 2 diabetic. Um, and as I said, this ran in my family. It really wasn't something that surprised me that much. So I just kind of went with it. Admittedly, it, it upset me a bit. Anything like that will upset you when you end up in a situation where you are so very sick and so very unbalanced in yourself that something huge happens. It will make you feel just awful. I'm curious about those deeper blue waters. So let's go check them out real quick. Um, I think this may just be a different biome spell, or just because this is here. Yeah, just because the island comes up, the water's different. Um, hmm. forest, birch forest. Yeah. Okay. This is different. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Oak glitch. Oh, lag glitch. <laughs> Having issues here, guys. Um, so yeah, I, um, it was actually a fairly rough s 
start to having diabetes, um, normally you'd just be tested and, and if it was suspected and they'd give you a diagnosis there, but my body has kind of decided that it's going to just drive me absolutely nuts from time to time and be a medical mystery. And I suppose in that essence, I do take after my mom a bit. Not necessarily the best way to take after your parents. Okay, guys, I am still trying to figure out if there's a village anywhere near here so we can recover a bit more. But for now, I think that's going to be it for today. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell to keep up to date on all my videos. And remember to free the feral wildflower in you. But don't give her too much sugar. Yep. Bye-bye.